Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing some poly gel nails using McCart's new Snatched Holiday Poly Gel Kit. So in this kit, you're going to get your gel base coat and top coat. You get your nail file, your metal tool, which has the double ended brush and spatula. It comes with dual forms, which I won't be using, but you do have that option. And then you also get some cute little winter slash Christmas stickers. And then of course, four things of poly gel. So I just did a quick swatch on my spatula so you can see the colors, but as you can see, the, these are so perfect for the holidays. I was absolutely in love with this collection. So we're gonna just start off with some nail prep. My nails were definitely a little crusty starting out, mainly because of the weather. You can't really tell until like I push it back a little bit, but I'm just gonna go in with my cuticle remover. This is the Blue Cross cuticle remover that I've been using for almost around two years now and I love it so much. I'll have it linked down below in the description box. But yeah, I'm using an orange wood stick to gently remove the cuticle from my nail plate. And you wanna make sure you do this, whether it's cuticle remover or just pushing it back with a metal tool. You can use a drill, cuticle nippers, just something because this is gonna prevent your nails from lifting. After I was done with that, I washed my hands and now I'm gonna move on to filing and shaping my nails. So I already have my square shape, but my length was getting a little bit too long for my personal preference, so I just took off a little bit of that length using a file that came in the kit. And after I go straight across, I just kind of round out the edges a little bit so I don't like stab myself. But whatever shape you want, you wanna go ahead and do that now. And then after that, you wanna remove the natural shine from your nail. So again, you have some options here. I'm gonna be using a medium grit buffing block to do this. You can also use the 180 grit side of the nail file that came in the kit. You can also use your e-file, just whatever you feel comfortable with. But I've been liking these little mini buffing blocks and I just go in a circular motion. And then after that, I'm gonna take a makeup sponge and rubbing alcohol and just wipe off any of that filing dust and also any oils that may be on my nail. Next, you're going to take your gel base coat and apply that to all of your nails. And I did apply a peel off base coat right before this just because I needed to change my nails the next day. But unless you want your nails to pop off, definitely don't apply a peel off. But you wanna keep this coat thin and even and then you're gonna cure it underneath your lamp. So from here, you can do the normal dual form poly gel application, but I'm gonna be doing an overlay because they are just so easy to do and I absolutely love the way they look. Also, you will need to get some slip solution or rubbing alcohol. Essentially, it's the same thing, but I will be dipping my brush into that as I go. So as you guys saw, I already pushed, or not pushed, I already applied the poly gel to the middle of my nail. And now I'm just gonna start gently tapping that down. And what I like to do is kind of start in the middle and then I'll push it slightly to each side and then slowly push it to my cuticle and then kind of drag it all down. So that's kind of my thinking with this. I am still pretty new to poly gel overlays. This is my second time doing it, but I'm telling you guys, it is so easy to get the hang of. So that's just my process. There's probably other ways to do it, but I like this method because it helps me avoid making my cuticle area or the sides of my nails too thick, which means less filing and that is just, the ultimate goal because you guys know I don't like to file also hold on we have to talk about this color so this shade is called bronzer and it is so pretty it's somewhere in between a gold and a rose gold I guess is that what bronze is I think that is the definition of bronze but either way it's just a really gorgeous color you can really just pair this with so many colors as an accent nail oh. I love it. So right now I'm just slowly pushing this product toward my cuticle and then here's where I just drag all that extra product down my nail. And I'm not doing this hard, I'm really gently just brushing it down. And once I get the excess product down to the free edge of my nail, I'm going to take the other side which is the spatula and just scrape it off using the edge of my nail to kind of guide it. And it really helps if you take the spatula and dip it in your slip solution or rubbing alcohol just so it's not sticking too much to the poly gel. So I'll do this one or two times. So I'm just gonna, again, drag that product down and then use my spatula to scrape it, smooth out anything that's a little bumpy. And then, yeah, this is what my nail is looking like. Sometimes I will, especially because this is a glitter, I'm gonna take my brush and some rubbing alcohol and just go around my cuticle area just to make sure it's nice and neat. And then I'm gonna cure my nail under the lamp. 
Next, I wanted to use contour on my middle nail using the same method. And guys, I thought this would be a nice chocolatey brown color, but I started to spread it out with my brush and it's more of like a burgundy maroon shade that I think is so gorgeous. I haven't seen a poly gel color like this. It's really unique. And for some reason, I don't know if it's because Thanksgiving is coming up, but it reminds me of um, the cranberry sauce, which I don't even know if I like that stuff. Like I don't hate it, but I just, I don't know how I feel about it, but tell me that doesn't look just like it. It does, just saying. But anyways, the shade does look more opaque when there's more of the product, but I actually like it thinned out a little bit more because it becomes more of a jelly sort of maroon shade. And I just really like poly gel for that reason. I don't know if that's just me, but the sheer look that it gives looks so cute. So I'm just spreading that out to make it more jelly-like, again, pressing the product down toward the edge of my nail, scraping it off, and then just cleaning up around my nail and curing that under my lamp. And something I forgot to mention, if you use bronzer or highlighter, which is the silver glitter in this collection, make sure you really clean your brush up when you're done because you will get glitter on other nails that aren't glittery. So definitely keep that in mind. For the rest of my nails, I'm gonna be using the color Blended. On me, this is a nude, but I really think this is a shade that will look good on any skin tone. All right, so once you applied your poly gel and cured your nails under the lamp, you're gonna move on to any filing or shaping that you need to do. So because I really took my time, I really didn't have much to do. I just quickly buffed my nails, mainly focusing around the cuticle area so it looked natural. Again, this is why I prefer poly gel overlays. They're just so much quicker to do. And if you have shorter nails, you can also apply a tip and then do the same process just another option. But then I also took a nail file and just ran it across the free edge of my nail. And then I'm just gonna finish off with my gel top coat. Try to keep this thin and even. And if you get any on your skin, make sure you wipe it off before you go to cure your nails. And also, I was low key afraid that I was gonna buff off the glitter, but it was perfectly fine. I didn't have any issues with that. So yeah, I'm gonna apply that and then cure my nails under the lamp one more time. And here is the final look. I think these turned out so cute, you guys. And my nails were a little bit dry after, so I just finished off with some cuticle ale and let that sit for about 10 minutes before washing it off. But I really like this kit. They also came out with another one called Blushed, and it has some really pretty pinks in it. And I was so tempted to use it, but I'm actually happy I went with this one instead. But I do have a code. Let me see. This isn't sponsored, but I have an affiliate code with them. You can use my code Gabby's Nail Art, save 15% off McCart products. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you think of the nails, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.